Hey everyone, welcome back to more of Essie Knuckles' Worst Nightmare. And we'll be going through level 3 in this part. I don't think we have to do like only part of the level, I think we can just take up the whole thing. I think we're well enough equipped. Uh, we got the blue ring and the brass knuckles. Introduction to the Wall Masters. Again, pretty good music choices uh, in general. Okay. Wall master there. Kinda odd there's only one. Oh, there was another one there. I'll probably just leave the two bubbles there. Get rid of a bat while I'm at it. Okay, so you know, you get the map, and if you've played Randomizer, you know, this map should look very familiar to you. Looks like an exact replica. Nice blue leaves got beefed up a little bit. I'll still take three hits to knock out. Yeah, not much in this room. Uh, maybe chop down all the little blocks here. And yeah, find another key. Maybe not so obvious what items you get yet, I almost didn't see the wall next to there. So we pick up the ladder. Kind of how we're gonna get out of this little area.
This room can get a little bit messy with all the stash of shooters. I'm gonna pick up the compass in this place. Same spot as in your randomizer. Uh, so this big pool of water on the right here, you want to keep a mental note of that. I, th I think actually you'll be told about it, so... Well, you, you know, otherwise, just keep a note of that. That does become relevant later on. Trigger that um, switch yet? Yeah, you need. You actually need the other item for this place. in that room. It'll save me trouble later on. guys. Statue shooters. Eh, look, you got a lot of space to move. All right, uh, magic boomerang, and this looks like the one in um, Oracle Oracle Seasons. Since Oracle Ages doesn't have a magic boomerang. Although this one isn't remote control. So 
So I just freeze up a shortcut. Magic boomerang here because if you look way on the left, you see a, a switch. All right, this room isn't that big an issue. I right, pick up the boss key. Actually, I think we're almost done with this place. And another interesting uh, concept here is this uh, little turn wheel. Now, it doesn't work the way it does in uh, Oracle games. It actually just takes you around in a, you know, circle in a clockwise fashion. Maybe I almost feel that may be more convenient. Otherwise, usually you have to go all the way around just to so that you can trigger a switch the other way, and that's just more annoying. Right, this room, you got the blue burritos. Not that big an issue. Uh, so here's a little hint on how you fight the the Goma. So before you start trying to use arrows, you know that's a hint that you know arrows are probably not going to work against this thing. I mean the other item you got is the ladder. I mean that's that's a passive item. Uh, so you'll be using your magic boomerang against this boss. Set up a sniper to get rid of that Sora. Easier to work with here. Yeah, it's kind of unique. You can change the Goma's weakness. That's not new to me. I've actually seen that in Randomizer. I think it's on Super and BS Randomizer where the hook shot actually works. Okay, so, um, this person, yeah, you can go watch Knuckles' um, LP of this because uh, he actually has some funny commentary when it comes to this one. And the first time I watched it, I just, like, broke out laughing. Because I'm actually familiar with what, uh, yeah, the, I think he played this, uh, like, a Troll Day quest, which was, like, I mean, it's like, uh, you can go watch that LP if you want. <laughs> 0 0.5 out of 10 rating. I mean, a dungeon's fine. I mean, it's actually a decent level. It's just a take back to the randomizer. But again, you can go watch the actual source of this. Since he knows exactly all the references here. 
Okay, so I'm gonna take a little detour over to this side first. So here I think you need the magic boomerang. And the ladder actually, so you need both items with level three. And whirling dervish. <laughs> whirling dervish. Well, at least that charger can get some mileage now. Back to clean out level two, actually. And actually, level four is sort of on the way. Uh, so I'm gonna pass by level two. Uh, so I might make this video a little bit longer. up here, since I only have half of level 2 left to go, I'll take that one to get through it. Now I'm going to gladly pick up any money, lose money around the place since I can hold uh, 750 rupees. Level 2 to actually finish off this place. Again, I still probably have about half the level left. Uh, but given I have better armor and better weapons, uh, this shouldn't take nearly as long. Luckily, that's not like a Bemo statue. It shoots uh, two spaces. And it doesn't spit the fire like rapidly, so you know there's there is a little space between the. To uh, next blast of fire, so you do have a little time to get around. And that just frees up a shortcut. Don't have to go through that maze again. the wrong way. And I'm getting stuck because I'm getting sliding up the room. Well, at least I can take out these zoles, you know, without them splitting. Well, I got these uh, blue moblins and uh, I think they do... 
I don't know if they've been changed or not, because I think their base damage was two hearts, if you don't have any ring. I mean, that kind of hurts, especially if you have no, uh, no ring in the first place. Which, uh, you know, normally you're not supposed to have a ring. But since I did a little bit of exploration outside to get myself some better equipment, at least we'll mellow the damage down a little bit. And getting the map in, you know, looks like a snowflake, you know, as the name of the level suggests. You don't have to do any work to get back to where you were. Alright, this room, another annoying little maze here to get through all these spikes. And no, you can't use your candle to boost through. I mean, you won't get any momentum off the... You know, with this ice. You're actually gonna have to go around the whole thing. Well, at least the return trip's easier. Switch gets rid of all the spikes. Actually, this room will become even easier to manage. <laughs> They'll have to go around the maze. I can actually just. Use the ladder to go over the pits here. I'm gonna blue model in here and get rid of you first. Get rid of the higher threat enemies. I don't think your ladder works on ice, so you're gonna have to still go around. Can't get any momentum on the ladder to pass through that. Alright, this room, we got a three of these guys. So pretty much done with this place. Only thing left is the boss. Okay, here we got Man Handla. Uh, arrows, or in this case, you know, brass knuckles. Is a one shots each a uh, little uh, each of the pedals <laughs> makes that really kind of trivial. Yeah, good to have a little extra equipment makes things easier. Oh, so this will get me caught up. 
And I think this one is one of uh, Knuckles' um, older friends. So I'm not familiar with this person. V, 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 V. I just played that, and it's actually not a bad game. Although, it's like, if you're trying to do all the challenge runs, like, you're trying to do devilish and stuff, and that is, like, you know, that's, like, for the hardcore people. I mean, I was just happy enough to beat that thing. I remember how many times I died. I'm trying to get some of those harder items in there. Yeah, so this part's gonna run a little longer. I'm trying to remember how long level 4 is, actually. Actually, um, where are we gonna be going is just to the right of here. So, I'm probably gonna pause it off at this point, and the next part we'll uh, head on towards level 4 and you know, probably take out level 4 as well. Alright, see you guys later.